Hello there and welcome to my channel. This is Nongon and today we're going to be playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. This is going to be chapter one of a full hard mode playthrough and we're going to call this the Stay Bad series. Uh, we're going to beat all of these chapters without getting good. Uh, what that means is that we're going to ignore pretty much all of the mechanics that are built into this game. Uh, staggers and defense and all that stuff unless it's absolutely necessary. We're going to do it with the simplest loadout and simplest uh, uh, procedures, methods, strats that we can come up with. Um, that way, you know, if you build, you know, you got to play this game a lot to get started. So to get to hard mode. Um, so pretty much if you start with this as a basic loadout, you can get through anything and then just add whatever makes you enjoy, you know, whatever you enjoy playing. Um, just a quick note on loadouts. I'm going to put it in the description, uh, what we use for everything. Um, we are basically have chosen all the weapons that have the highest physical attack power, in this case, hard edge for cloud. Uh, we're going to give pretty much any accessory that's got three or four slots and then uh, or for armor, and then the Gotter Damerung is the most important one. That's going to be on Cloud for almost the entire game. Uh, if you want to know how to get that, it's the first video in this series, um, How to Beat Top Secrets Challenge and Stay Bad. Uh, so if you want to check that out. Basically what it allows you to do is start every battle with your limit break. That means you don't have to worry about most of the hard mode mechanics, one of which is you can't use items, and two of which is the... Uh, benches that normally give you HP and MP will not give you MP, so you have to manage that throughout the game. This allows you to do almost all of the regular battles without using any MP um, because it's over before it even begins, so that's what we got. As far as materia goes, again, I'm going to give you... Uh, this is such a basic thing, I hardly ever change it throughout the entire game. Um, right now, Cloud and Barrett are going to be your two characters in this chapter, so that's all that we really set up. But basically we have some sort of elemental materia and that's going to be either what the boss is weak to at the end or what the majority of the enemies are weak to in the chapter. In this case, we're going to use lightning. We're going to connect it with elemental, which will add that element to your attack. And then we're going to go HP, HP, MP, MP up. That gives you lots of HP and lots of MP. Everybody gets healing and revival and as many first strikes as you can. Uh, when Barrett comes in, we've got him with the Magnify attached to healing. That will allow you to cure or uh, regen your entire party with one cast. Very important when you're trying to conserve MP. Uh, normally, Aerith or Tifa will be my healer, but they don't they don't play in the first couple chapters. So just, just the two boys for this one. All right, let's get started. Uh, also, this is live commentary. Um, this gets to be a little bit boring because most of the battles go exactly the same way. Um, which is basically we run in, we hit Gotra Damarung, uh, so we use our limit break, and then we hit triple slash, and that ends the battle. So at some point, I will just stop the commentary until there's something interesting to say. We're also going to do our best to skip as much dialogue and as much uh, cutscenes as possible. You're welcome to watch them if you want. It doesn't really matter. But, uh, so here you go. We just attack, with, attach, attack sorry, with cross slash. And uh, we're done. Good day. That is pretty much what we're going to do uh, for the remainder of this chapter. Again, we'll just be skipping cutscenes. And if anybody's alive at the end, uh, we just hit them with a triple slash, and that usually does it. Um, that's going to pretty much be the MO for the next, I don't know, five or ten minutes. Um, so I'll pick up commentary again when Barrett joins us, and we'll kind of talk a little bit about what to do. Uh, from a strategy perspective with him. So I'll be back. Drop the weapon. You're coming with us. Can't get surrounded. Any last words? <laughs> Nothing to it.
Looks like you're next. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I got a little lost there. It's pretty easy to get turned around and uh, forget where you're at. I think it might happen one more time, but uh, either way, there's no enemies or anything, so it just takes a little bit. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open for you. In three, two... Damn, I'm good. Who's there? Door! He's alone! We can take him! Make it rain! You're out of luck. Good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? <sighs> well, what are you waiting for? <sighs> so, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Okay, so we now have Barrett in our party. Uh, so that gives us Cloud and Barrett. As I mentioned before, um, I've already... Uh, oh, gosh, sorry. I'm just doing a really bad job with this guy. Uh, I've already equipped him. You, you see he's got Lightning Elemental on his weapon, so he, and those enemies are now weak to Lightning. But... We've got a basic strategy for Barrett that's not going to change much uh, whenever you're using him. 
just uh, hit the hit the bad guys with triangle, and then hit start pressing square until maximum fury comes up. It takes two ATB bars, and uh, that'll pretty much kill at whatever you were trying to do. So that's what we do. We start with overcharge, which is the triangle attack, and then uh, hammer at him with square until you can use maximum fury. Your overcharge eventually will recharge. Um, and then you just use triangle again. Does a lot of damage, short amount of time, real easy to use. So that's what we're doing right now. And we're gonna skip this cutscene and uh, head on through these things. Hopefully I do a decent job. It's uh, pretty linear what we're doing, you know. And even on hard mode, these uh, laser beams don't do that much damage, as you can see, as I do a terrible job of this. Yeah, I don't know why it's... there you go. And we're going to have to fight uh, a sweeper, I think these are called. Yep. But again, we're going to hit cross slash, and then we're going to hit triple slash, and we're going to switch here and hit triangle, and then we're going to use maximum fury, and even on a bigger guy like this, that is just an absolute uh, huge amount of power that you're unleashing all at once on whatever enemy you got. So as you can see, you can take down a sweeper that quick with just those four attacks in this game. So it renders a lot of this hard mode trivial. The most important part, which is something you'll find if you try to do this without the Gotra Jamarung, without using that accessory that lets you use your limit break all the time, um, you will run out of MP because that's the only way to heal yourself. Uh, there are a few interesting ways. Chakra, prayer is good. Um, they even give you a tutorial where you can hit the boxes you know, those random Shinra boxes will give you MP shards. Those will replenish 10% of your MP if you need them. I think I'll use one of those one time in this entire playthrough, but these are the boxes. See, it says you recovered MP. We haven't used a single MP yet, but if you try to do this without a limit break, you probably will have MP be a problem. Um, again, we're not trying to get good. We're just trying to get through it. It's not elegant. It's a uh, pretty brute force, but uh, that's what we got. That's what I'm good at. and. I'm just going to keep doing this, and I'll probably pick it up when we get to the boss. So uh, stay bad, people. I'll see you in a few minutes. Don't overdo it. Pretty cocky, ain't you? Okay, so we are here at the boss, and the first thing we're gonna do, just like we did with uh, the top secrets in the last video, is we're gonna cast regen on everybody. Uh, again, normally Barrett is not my healer, but uh, that's what we got right now. And we're going to go with, you know, because uh, this is only a two-person battle. Uh, this uh, battle is actually maybe a little easier in um, in uh, hard mode because you have high levels. You have access to lightning materia, which you do not when you first play this. You only have fire. And this guy is weak to lightning, so that's why we've got him on uh, equipped. And again, he whenever he's got whenever Barrett's got two bars, just uh, go ahead and hit maximum fury. 
Um, he's got a field generator. You see that green stuff is his shield. And... We're going to go ahead and hit the best we can. And if you're behind him and he's got his shield up, um, I think you can hit, uh, yeah, you want to use a Thundara. That didn't work either. So we're just gonna just gonna keep shredding his uh, field generator here, and eventually he will go up there, and then pretty much that's uh, your cue to just hammer away with Barrett. We'll get him in the screen back up here. But... As you see, I'm not 100% sure what's happening in this battle. I never am. But we stay alive pretty well. And Cloud's already got another uh, limit break. Now we're getting somewhere. So as you can see, we're just uh, maximum fury whenever he's got to. We use the uh, overcharge when it shows up. We have not been critical on health yet. Um, I see it's kind of, we're getting down in the 6,000 range, but I think we're still good. And again, we're making no attempts to dodge. We're not using any really cool mechanics. We're not uh, even worried about staggering. Although we might actually end up staggering this guy, but um, at the moment, we're not even trying to uh, accomplish such things. We're just hitting him with the biggest stick we got. Uh, and we're going to continue to do that until he falls down. Uh, I suspect that'll just be a couple more minutes because we're on to this next phase here. He's got a uh, tail laser, and you're getting a tutorial about it right now. Basically, don't try to withstand it. Just come over here and hide behind the cover, and he'll blow the cover up, and then you can hit him with whatever you want. In this case, it's going to be, uh, well, it was going to be Infinity's End, but I got interrupted on that. So we hit the triangle attack. I'm coming over here, and I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, Infinity's End with Cloud. This does a lot of damage, but it takes a long time to cast. This particular fella doesn't move very much, so you can usually uh, pull it off. And then, I don't know if you noticed, Cloud's down in the 3,000 range on health, so that's probably a good time to heal. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get, since uh, Barret is my uh, healer in this battle, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then, again, the Gotcha Jamerung has uh, kicked in. We've got another limit break that you can use. And you see just how easy it is to just start shredding this poor fella. Which is really fun because it's crazy and difficult. It's like the first battle you get in this game is this guy. And you're learning all these mechanics. And it's so chaotic. And it looks crazier than it is. And all this stuff's happening, and you finally get to come back here with all your stuff and take revenge. And again, we're just going to Maximum Fury this. Looks like... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do a Triple Slash real quick. And we got Overcharge. And again, we can lock onto parts and remove parts and cripple legs and all that stuff. I'm not really interested in that. I just like hitting the buttons. And you see, it's not elegant. It's definitely ugly, but we are going to win ugly throughout this entire uh, campaign. So <laughs> get used to it. Like I said, stay bad. If you um, if you have enough health and enough uh, enough 
uh, strength, then you can pretty much hit anything until they go down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cure Cloud again. I think we're getting to the end of this, but just to make sure, you know, you don't want to do something stupid and then wipe right at the end. Um, he's down. I think he'll also start recovering a little bit of health, but um, we have plenty of uh, strength and plenty of attacks that we can do. Cloud's just kind of sitting behind here waiting to do this kind of stuff. And there you go. That's it. Uh, that's the end of the Scorpion Sentinel. That's basically the end of uh, Chapter 1. And you will, if this is your first time doing it, which I assume it is, you're watching a tutorial. Um, oh, sorry. We got to get out of here. I'll, I'll stop the commentary. We'll just come back when we get out. So I'm just going to come back in with a few quick notes here while we're climbing these ladders. First of all, Jesse. Jesse. So thirsty. Uh, uh, Jesse. Anyway, that's enough about Jesse. You notice I've ignored all of the chests at this point. Can't use items in hard mode. I do not intend to play this another time. So items for another playthrough would be not helpful. Um, I've got all the accessories that I need in this. Um, so there's no reason to, to really open any chests. Um, also the, uh, boxes that you can smash that get to get your, uh, your, uh, MP re recovered. I don't need it. Barrett's got a hundred. Cloud's got 150. There's just no need for it. So we went without, um, you could get them if you used a lot of MP trying to heal yourself during that round, or if you used a lot of thunder spells, uh, while you were fighting the Scorpion Sentinel. They're kind of on the way, so just kind of explore a little bit. Uh, again, we're going to fight a Sweeper. You can run past this if you want. You don't have to fight this guy. The door's open at the other end, so he's one of the few enemies that you can ignore in this entire game. Um, but I don't know. I like it. I really like watching uh, all of their health get peeled right there in about, I don't know, 20 seconds. So... I don't know. It just feels very rewarding after uh, quite a few playthroughs of having to learn all this stuff and figure out an easy way to get around it. Uh, it feels good to just smash things a lot, which is why I, I kind of like the stay bad format because you really are just uh, hitting stuff and hitting stuff until it falls down. As you see, I've used very, very little magic. Um, very, very little of the materia that gives you all kinds of things. Here's some, some more boxes there, just in case you were wondering. There's some more right there. This is that area where we were uh, dodging things. You get shock troopers. That's fine. Uh, they're weak generally to fire instead of lightning, but we're not going to change our loadout every time. 
there's really no need for this. You just hit him with your limit and you're done anyway. And then the only downside is it's really easy to get turned around on some of these levels. As you can see, uh, try to head up, up. Anytime you see stairs going up or a ladder going up, that's probably going to be the right direction. Um, that's really about all I can give you at this point. Although if you're playing on hard mode, you already did beat this once, so you're not missing a whole bunch. These guys do like to dodge things, so that's why Maximum Fury is such a good one, because it's really hard to dodge. And these guys up here, of course, require ranged attacks, so that's it. That's why we stuck with Barrett for that. But this is a pretty good duo here. They have an awful lot of power. Okay, and I think we're out of here. So back to what I was going to say before, after the boss battle. If this is your first time playing a chapter on hard mode... While it's loading into the next chapter, you'll get a little notification on the right there that says completed chapter on hard mode. And once you do that, it's done. You can go chapter to chapter. You can you could do chapter three before you do chapter one if you want. As long as you get that notification, then you know it counts. And when you go to the chapter select screen, there's even a little note that says completed on hard mode. So to get the trophy for the hard mode playthrough, you do not have to do it all in one go. If you get four or five chapters in and you realize that you need a special materia or you want to level up something or get a different accessory, you can go into chapter select, play on easy, get whatever you need to get, and uh, you'll still be fine. Um, but as we're going through the loading screens, that is it for chapter one. Um, so we'll break right here. We're just under 28 minutes. So... Um, Hopefully this helped you. Uh, let me know in the comment section if there's anything I can do better. We've got 17 chapters to go, and we'll be doing chapter two next. Uh, thanks again for watching. Stay bad, people. Non-gone is gone.